Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the design of transistor switch. Designing of a transistor switch is nothing but we know already transistor is acting as a switch in two regions like a cutoff region and saturation region. If at all if you want a if you want to use a transistor as a switch, then you should give a minimum specifications required like what are the different parameters that are associated to design this particular transistor like resistors or capacitors or voltages or currents. Okay. Suppose consider the circuit what we have seen in the previous case a little bit modified version of the previous case. Okay. Uh, a transistor with negative voltage VBB let it be equal to V of 0 nothing but lower level of the input signal and here I am giving a capacitor additionally which was not there in the previous diagram which is connected to the input of the transistor and one more resistor is connected here which is given with a minus VBB here also minus VBB and this is the resistor R2 this is resistor R1 and C the current entering into the base of this transistor B IB and it is the resistor RC this is VCC VCC is equal to V of 1 nothing but logic 1 level and this is the place where we are taking the output collector and this current IC and this is resistor RC. Now it is the input voltage. Now the input voltage I am taking as two levels as V of 0 and V of 1. V of 0 is nothing but 0 volts and V of 1 is nothing but 5 volts. So, V of 0 when it is given to the transistor, transistor is acting as open circuited because the transistor is off and V of 1 is a 5 volts which is applied to the transistor input that is then the transistor comes into on state. Okay. So, this is what you are having a circuit with you. Now, let us apply input is equal to V of 0. When input is equal to 0, the transistor is in cutoff region as I said. So, when V in is equal to V of 0, then what happens? Transistor Q is said to be in off state. When it is in off state, then what is the output? V out is equal to VCC or V of 1. This is the highest level. And second case when V input is equal to V of 1, V of 1 is nothing but logic 1 level to the transistor, transistor is said to be on state. When it is in on state, what is the output? It is acting as a short circuit. It is acting as short circuit. So, for the transistor short circuit, it is the emitter terminal, this is base terminal and this is collector terminal. So, there exists a short circuit voltage VCE or simply we can say it is 0 because the other terminal is also connected to 0. So, it is taken as VCE which is a saturation voltage because the transistor is operated in saturation and we can equate it to V of 0. We can equate it to V of 0. Thus, we can understand thus the transistor is operated as switch transistor acting as switch transistor is acting as switch okay now so when input voltage v of 0 is applied the transistor is said to be in open circuited nothing but off state open circuited then what is the input voltage vb Okay, so let us consider this first case when input V in is equal to V of 0, then 
see vf0 means transistor is open circuited then what is the voltage appeared at this base of the transistor how we, how can we say that vb is having influence on two voltages one is from this vbb another one is from the input at that time input is vf0 okay so if you see a superposition theorem like uh, at a time if you act one voltage in the circuit and remaining voltage if it is zero then suppose if you take one condition that uh, vbb is equal to zero and v of zero is acting alone in the circuit then uh, capacitor of course it is open circuited and there is a voltage division network r1 and r2 then when v of 0 alone is acting across resistance r2 is the input to apply to the transistor so v of 0 into r2 by r1 plus r2 this is the total resistance when vbb is acting and v of 0 is 0 then r1 by r1 plus r2 into minus vbb okay in this way we can calculate the output appeared at this vb okay so then the base voltage vb is vb is equal to minus vbb into r1 by r1 plus r2 this is the voltage at the input of the transistor q then minus vbb alone is acting in the circuit plus Suppose if V of 0 is alone acting in the circuit when VBB is equal to 0, then it is R2 by R1 plus R2 into V0. And in superposition, we will be having a combination of these two voltages. So, overall effect on both the voltages uh, towards the base of this junction, uh, base of this transistor, so VB is equal to this one. Okay. So, uh, let us write if v of 0 is equal to 0 volts then v of 0 is equal to 0 volts means 0 into this one 0 and only vb is having minus vbb into r1 by r1 plus r2 okay so here this voltage whatever the voltage i have written here this voltage must be less than vbe cutoff this voltage must be less than vbe cut off for the transistor because for silicon transistor it should be minus 0 0.0 volt so this voltage this voltage must be less than this voltage must be less than vbe cut off VBE cutoff which is required for the transistor required for the transistor that is 0 volts per 0 volts per silicon and it is around minus 0 0.1 volt per germanium transistor. okay so now in the designing part we should calculate the value of r1 and r2 so the value of r1 is determined on the condition that the lowest expected temperature the transistor will remain in the saturation because hfe decreases with decreasing temperature what do you mean by hfe hfe is nothing but we can say it is forward current gain forward current gain so hfe is nothing but forward current gain or we can also indicate it with beta we can also indicate it with beta so r1 value is depending on this particular factor hfe due to temperature now let us calculate when input is equal to when input is equal to v of 1 till now we have seen v of 0 now condition is when input is in the other side v of 1 then the transistor is said to be in saturation then q nothing but transistor is in 
saturation saturation is nothing but transistor is in on state there exists a short circuit because of that short circuit huge amount of current will be flowing that is the collector current ic what is the collector current ic 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 is equal to ic is the current flowing through this one because it is an on circuit <laughs> Then what is the voltage across this one? VCE set. VCE set. How can you write the IC now? IC is the current flowing and originated at this VCC and going towards this VC. So VCC minus VCE by RC. Okay. So IC is equal to VCC minus VCE set by RC. This is what? The collector current. And in that situation, when transistor is in on state, there exists a minority charge carrier current across the base junction. That minority charge carrier current IB min IB is indicated as IB min, which is equal to IC by HFE min. <coughs> HFE min. So now the current through the resistor R1 the current through resistor R1 is, see, go to the circuit, what is the current flowing through the resistor R1? What is the current flowing through the resistor R1? Let us consider the current flowing through the resistor R1 as I1. Okay, I1 is equal to the difference on either voltages, the difference on either voltages. So, we can write it as V of 1. What is the input voltage now? V of 1 minus what is the voltage on the other side? Vb is set because transistor is in saturation. So, V of 1 minus Vb is set by R1 that is I1. So, I1 is equal to V of 1 input voltage minus Vb is set because the transistor is in saturation region divided by R1 divided by R1 and coming to the current flowing through the current flowing through resistor R2 is what is the current flowing through resistor R2 I2 I2 is equal to go to the circuit this is I2 how can we write I2 I2 is the current flowing from VBE, VB to other side. So, VB is at, what is the voltage appeared here? VB is at minus, minus VBB by R2. So, VB is at minus, minus VBB by R2. Okay. Now, how can we write IB? IB is nothing but the current going away from this point ib is the current going into the base of this transistor going away from that point so that is written as i1 is the current coming from the input and i2 is going away from the point and ib is going also away from the point so ib is equal to i1 minus i2 ib is equal to i1 minus i2 see these two currents i1 is coming towards current uh, towards this junction and I2 is going away and I, as well as IB is also going away. Okay, we can write it as I1 is equal to I2 plus IB. This is the total current. I1 is the total current coming from the input voltage source. That I1 is equal to I2 plus IB. These are the two currents and leaving the junction. So, leaving this node. So, I2 plus IB. So, how can we write now IB is equal to I1 minus I2. So, here from circuit IB is equal to I1 minus I2, I1 minus I2. So, if you subtract these two, just substitute them V of 1 minus VB is at by R1 minus VB is at minus of minus VBB by R2. This is what the base current IB. Okay. 
So if we know the value of IB, then it is very easy to calculate the collector current. Because collector current and base current both are proportional to each other by a factor beta. Okay, so uh, this current IB, this current IB must be equal to IC by HFE, IC by HFE because IC is equal to HFE into IB. Okay, you may know this formula. So that is equal to what is IC? IC already we have calculated somewhere. See, this is IC. Use this IC VCC minus VC sat by RC. So it is VCC minus VC sat by RC into HFE. This is IB current. Okay, now equate all these. See here, this one is the IB equation. This is also IB equation which is obtained from IC. Therefore, uh, VCC minus VC is sat divided by RC into HFE that is equal to what is the value on the right hand side? V of 1 minus VB is sat by R1. V of 1 minus VB is sat by R1 minus VB sat minus of minus VBB divided by R2. Okay. This is what the expression we have got from the IB equation. So we need to choose the values of R1 and R2 in such a way that it should satisfy this condition. So, choose the values of R1 and R2 such a way that such a way that they should satisfy they should satisfy above equation okay so whatever the values you are going to choose those values of r1 and r2 must be satisfying this particular balancing equation which is that vcc minus vc sat by rc into hfe is equal to v of 1 minus vb sat by r1 minus of vb sat minus minus vbb by r2 okay so in this way we can design the parameters of a transistor what are the designing factors here r1 and r2 okay choosing the values of vc set and vb set that depending upon the type of the transistor we are using if the transistor is a silicon transistor and if the transistor is a germanium transistor the values will be different okay so whatever it is we should have to select the values of r1 and r2 such a way that they should have a minimum of this particular condition should be satisfied. Thank you.